Greetings from Florida, where, contrary to popular belief, it has not been warm and sunny as of late. For my family heritage project, I looked into my family history for the first time, and found that my ancestors have been living in Florida since the middle of the 1800s. I made this collage from family photos, likening it to the kitschy postcards you can find all over the state, featuring beaches, lawn flamingos, and bold, gaudy lettering. For my community research, I focused on the Florida Natural History Museum exhibits in Gainesville, which is just a short drive away from where I live. The museum's lifelike and life-size exhibits show a visual timeline of animals and people, starting from when there was still water covering most of the state to the ecosystems of today. I visit the museum once or twice a year for the past seven years and always seem to find something new and interesting. The museum prides itself on being visitor-friendly in order to draw in and educate the public, making it a great place for family and school outings. I am one of the digital kids we discussed in Lesson 6. When I was in 6th grade, I was disabled and unable to attend school, so instead I made friends with peers online. Since then, I have made friends with hundreds of people across the globe with similar interests as me in online communities. So for my Globalization and Me project, I created a family tree of my close online friends since 2007, most of which I am in still contact with regularly. Tiny Planets is a group I originally saw on Art Education 2.0 that transforms a panorama photo into a tiny planet. The images don't even have to be a full panorama, such as my aquarium planet, that ended up needing only minor editing. The group is now quiet, but there are still multiple Flickr groups of other people showing off their planets. This is a project I'd love to do with students when I start teaching, because you can either use a phone app, such as Photosynth, to create them, or if you don't have that capability like me, use a digital camera in Photoshop to create it. The personal learning network that I found the most use was definitely Scoop It. Unlike Twitter or Flickr, I can see myself using this for school because it's ease of storing and finding articles for class. It's not as addicting as Pinterest, but it's still the same ease of use for articles and text. I also really enjoy Art Ed, but most of the groups I follow are for current teachers, so I think I'll just lurk until I can contribute. Ai Weiwei is an artist of all things pertaining to globalization and activism. I'm sure you've all heard of his many run-ins with the Chinese government concerning his activism against them. He has become a well-known name in the art world not only because of this, but for his use of social media to promote his work and speak out against the Chinese government. For example, he constantly blogs and tweets and has once used Twitter to lie blog and assault and detainment by police, which sparked an outrage across the globe. Do Ho Sa is a Korean artist whose artwork is rooted in his personal experiences and tells stories of home and family, identity, and society. While he isn't a global artist as much as Wei Wei, the message his artwork gives is something that everyone can relate to. I admire his work greatly because I take something different from it every time I view it, especially his size relation pieces that are composed of hundreds of tiny figures or other objects such as dog tags and string. It is my goal to see his work in person one day to really get a sense of his work. I never realized before this course how much I have already been a part of globalization. Every year my family goes to the Sun and Fun Fly-In Air Show in Lakeland, Florida. Airplane enthusiasts from all walks of life and all around the world go there and set up a miniature town for two weeks. It's a community where everyone is your friend and through the use of Facebook we can now connect with all the people we meet. Similarly, a friend and I have started selling crafts at sci-fi and video game conventions throughout Florida and we have made more connections than I can count. Thank you for watching.